thank you so much pragya for joining us it is such a pleasure to have you with us today and heartiest congratulations for making it to the final list of ethr world emerging leaders league thank you thank you so much aditya thank you so much for having me today as well such a pleasure uh, so i think i would love to start with this what does this title of ethr world emerging leader what does it mean to you and do you think it will make some difference personally professionally we would love to know about it Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, it's not just the title. I think it's also about, you know, um, recognizing the efforts that we are actually putting forward for our people and towards this talent community. That makes a whole lot of difference. That yes, yeah. there is something important that we are doing and making that small impact that we are able to create in someone's life. So, of course, this recognition is definitely taking to a notch level up. that's so true and i'm sure you know such kind of small milestones really uh, you know create big impact in the journey so wishing you all the very best for that so that brings me to the next question you know we would love to know about uh, you know your journey we would love to know about your key milestones your experiences that have really shaped your path and uh, helped you uh, you know reach where you are today so um i belong to a small city called kanpur based in uttar pradesh then i know a lot of you may already be know uh, know about it i did my graduation schooling everything from there and i think that was the first step that i took out of that small city and come mm -hmm. to delhi for my masters and from there onwards i i, I believe i say that i started my journey and uh, you know getting placed during the time of recession in a company that was a one big achievement i think everybody felt during through the campus placements that everybody goes through of course so yeah that was one thing which was very important for all of us and i think that's the first step that we took into the industry and that's mm -hmm. the first thing that i'll say that uh, you you take it for the first time and you see exactly how the corporate world works and from there onwards the journey actually starts so i spent somewhere around 3 to 4 years at a company called intera information technologies where i first actually started the work around hr and talent development and then from there onwards i moved on to genpac and i think most of my career's journey is actually i'll say devoted to genpac because a lot of things that i have been able to do has been from this organization so uh, you know i started my journey as an hr business partner for uh, one of the pieces in the in the vertical one of the businesses in the vertical and from there onwards i moved on to become the lnd lead that i am today and i'm managing wow. a lot of training frameworks across the vertical across for this wow that that's quite interesting and that too from hr bp to lnd finally uh, I, i mean and that is what this is this makes it very very interesting in fact the entire journey so really thank you so much for sharing that now that brings me to the next question what are your core values what are those fundamental principles you know that guide your actions and decision making so honesty and integrity in the work that is something which is very very close to my heart and a lot of my decision making a lot of my work ethics is actually comes from these core values and then of course it is very important that with these core values i am able to drive and create an environment which is very high performing uh, high performing culture for the employees and with that of course nurturing and giving that upskilling platform to people so that they can we are able to build the talent for tomorrow wow that that sounds really interesting now now how did you uh, you know what did you do in fact to make a habit you know of your core values because usually what happens is uh, we have core values but sometimes you know we really forget or we do not put them to practice you know that doesn't become a habit so how have you been able to really master that art so some of it i'll say that um, it's very consciously driven of course because yeah. if you have to create the talent for tomorrow you have to do day in day out work in order to ensure that in future you're able to deliver that and a lot of it comes from your upbringing as well so there are a lot of things that your parents have taught you your teachers have taught you it actually gets inculcated in your habit and somehow it unconsciously plays in your work yeah. no absolutely and in fact uh you know would love to know about uh, you know your success mantra so maybe you can share some strategies or beliefs that have really contributed to your achievements i just have one thing on this one aditya which is whatever you do you do it passionately passionately so you know do it from your heart do it 
because you want to do it and automatically the success will follow. So there's, there's no second ring about it. There's no second thought about it. But whatever you do, do it just from your heart. Do it passionately. Absolutely. Follow your passion and drive the purpose. I think that's very, very important and very important to create that impact, you know, in whatever you do. So for yourself as an individual or to, for your organization, your team or the community, you know, as a whole. So that constancy of purpose, uh, I think that's quite important. So thank you so much. So so I'm sure that, you know, there's so many lessons that uh, young HR leaders can really, uh, you know, learn from you. So what is that piece of advice that you would like to give them? You know, some words of wisdom or guidance that you have for them. So Aditya, to me, everyone's journey is unique. Okay. Yeah. It's very important that they're able to embrace their individuality. Mm -hmm. They trust themselves yeah. and they're not banking on others to do something for them. So it's very important that they're able to, you know, stay true to themselves and make it happen for whatever they are aiming for. So that's that's one my one of the advices that I would like to give. This is very interesting. I mean, authenticity because uh, you know that's very very important. You should try to be who you are, your own core core values, your principles, your ethics. I think everything plays a very important role, and that really help you shape and become better and really become a role model. And such a role model you are, Pragya, and. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure interacting with you. A very, very well-deserved. Uh, we are so happy that, you know, you are one of the emerging leaders. And keep shining, keep rising, and keep inspiring all of us. Thank you so much. And wishing you the same, Aditya and the team. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Take care.